What's going on, family? I'm here with a quick tutorial. Just want to show you guys how I go about EQing my vocals. It's going to be a quick tutorial. Just want to show you some of the techniques that I use and how you can use those same techniques to get your vocals to sound a little bit cleaner. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just play what I got so far. This is after all my processing. And then I'm going to turn everything off. And then I'll turn um, on my EQ and I'll just show you what I'm doing. Keep on trying. Spreading my love. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the bar. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the ABs and C's. I'd have been woke since. Wait a minute, my killer. I don't even really like that word. I fight. All right, so that's a, that's the final that's the final product right there. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn off, you know, all my other processing besides just this one EQ. Alright. So let's get a loop. Keep on trying. Spread of my loop. I'm a light on the star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I ride down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the bar. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the ABs and C's. I'd have been woke since. All right, so here we have my vocal. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up to par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the ABs and C's. So it's not bad. Only thing I want to do to it for real is just clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Mm. I'm a First thing I do is I take out some of the low end. I just kind of sweep around and then find the right spot to cut out some of the lows in my vocal. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the par. Young black man with a baby. Right there sounds pretty good to me. Uh, you don't want to take it too far back, because if you do, it's going to sound uh, like that telephone effect. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke. You still want some of the bass in your vocals, but you want to cut out, uh, you basically just want to cut out anything that's not necessary. So that's usually between um, 100 to 80 hertz you can cut in vocals, depending on, on the type of vocal. It could be a little higher or lower, but for this vocal, this is where I'm at. Next thing I want to do is I want to cut out some of the mud, and I sweep around with this, so it's very much just like this. So I just grab a bell curve, and I sweep around until I find the frequency that I want to cut out. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the ABs and C's. I'd have been woke since, wait a minute, my killer. I don't even really like that word. I fight that word. A wolf. Yeah, so around around 350, 300 to 350, 400 is usually the the mud area, the mud range that you just want to just cut some of that out. And you can use a wide cue or a low cue. Um, I tend to use a, a medium sized cue to cut in the beginning and then go from there. All right, the next thing I want to do is look for any kind of um, boxy noises in my vocals, which is like around the 500 to like 700. And I'm going to sweep around and do the same thing. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up the par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the ABs and C's. I'd have been woke since, wait a minute, my killer. I don't even really like that word. I fight that word. A wolf. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I want to find 
the frequency, the high frequency that's gonna give it some top end, some shine. All right, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna look for a high frequency to boost to just to give it a little bit more shine. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up to par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the A, B's and C's. I'd have been woke since, wait a minute, my killer. Yeah, so on this here, I'm using a high shelf just to give all the, the frequencies above the marker a boost. And I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to give it like around one or two dB just to give it a little bit of shine because I usually use more than one EQ. But this is the basics right here. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. And that already sounds better. I'm gonna bypass it and then I'm gonna bring it back in. Mm. I'm a light, I'm a star. Give me some space while I light my cigar. Give me some space while I write down the bar. See, I've been ten toes, yet I'm not up to par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the A, B's and C's. I'd have been woke since, wait a minute, my killer. I don't even really like that word. I fight that word, a wolf. So very subtle, very subtle difference, but that's what I'm looking for. That's really all I want. And so usually what I do is I don't EQ with the vocals by itself. I EQ with the vocals in the mix with the beat. Um, I just did that just to give y'all a demonstration. But I will bring this back. I will be. I will bring the beat back in so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, I'm not up to par. Young black man with a baby to feed. I'd have been woke since the A B's and C's. I'd have been woke since. Wait a minute, my killer. I don't even really like that word. I so let's listen to it without the EQ and then let's listen to it with the EQ. I fight that word, a wolf, and despite the herd, I'm on me. That should leave you quite concerned. I'm on E. I don't even got the right to splurge, but I confirm I'm slicker than the nicest perm. And I feel like I'm a made man. With I fight that word, a wolf, and despite the herd, I'm on me. That should leave you quite concerned. I'm on E. I don't even got the right to splurge, but I confirm I'm slicker than the nicest perm. And Without. I fight that word, a wolf, and despite the herd, I'm on me. That should leave you quite concerned. I'm on E. I don't even got the right to splurge, but I confirm I'm slicker than the nicest perm. With. I fight that word, a wolf, and despite the herd, I'm on me. That should leave you quite concerned. I'm on E. I don't even got the right to splurge, but I confirm I'm slicker than the nicest perm. And I feel like I'm a made man. Made man, made man, made man, made man, made man. Made man. Live so, yeah, that's how I EQ my vocals. That's the, that's the very, um, on my chain, that's the second EQ that, that I use, but you can use these techniques um, pretty much for EQ and anything. Again, I just do a high pass filter, cut out some of the lows, cut out some of the, the mud, I cut out some of the boxiness in the vocals, and then I add some top end to the vocal just to make it shine a little bit. That's how I clean up my vocals with EQ. So yeah, check back in with me for another video. Peace.